Hey, hey, thank you so much for watching, listening. Of course, thank you for subscribing. We got great content, great guests for interviews, and bing, 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 not really, the jokes. <laughs> You're like, let's get it over with so we can get on. So why was the math book sad? The math book was sad because it had a lot of problems. I know, super bad. <laughs> let's get on with the series, right? So what do you need? and provision. That's what the series is about. And we're using Saul, the first king of Israel in 1 Samuel, uh, to look at what do you need. So we've looked at time, we've looked at uh, courage and strength, and today we're going to look at energy. Do you need energy? You're like, yeah, I got Red Bull, I got caffeine, I got those little energy shots, you know, but I need energy. And I think we all can have seasons and times of experience where we're like, ooh, I wish I just had a little bit more energy, a little bit more oomph to kind of get going. We're tired, we're strung out, we need energy. I'm looking at Saul and there was a season experience in his life where he also, he actually set people up to need energy by some of the decisions that he made. If you look at 1 Samuel 14, Verses 24 through 45, Saul was in a battle against the Philistines, kind of the normal thing. But Saul and the battle started kind of in an unusual way. But the, the Israelites began to chase the Philistines. And Saul made this decree when the Israelites started to press in on a victory. Saul made the decree and said, nobody eats until we finish this battle. And it's interesting that he made that decree. I don't know what went on in his head, but what we find out, and, Saul, and Jonathan, his son, didn't hear that decree. So Jonathan is in the battle and he's fighting and he's hungry. You know, he's been warring and battling and slicing and fighting and all this stuff. And he's hungry because he's expended a lot of energy. So he sees there's honey nearby and he sticks his little rod, staff in the honey, puts it to his mouth, eats some of the honey and it says his eyes brightened and he got some energy. Well, everybody around him was like, oh, you shouldn't have done that. Saul, your dad, made a vow or made a decree that nobody eats until the end of the battle. And Jonathan was like, that's stupid. If we would eat, we'd have all the more energy to press in and make this a, a total slaughter and victory. That's dumb. And it's interesting because I don't know why Saul made that. It might have been his own insecurity or arrogance or whatever. But when he made that decree, he set up his followers, his soldiers for failure or the, the lack of full victory because of the lack of energy. And with that lack of energy, then when they did finally finish the battle, the Israelites kind of started to violate the laws of God because they were eating animals that they hadn't drained from all this stuff. But energy, energy is an important ingredient for us to fulfill what God has called us to do, to walk in the divine calling that God has for us. And, and I, I wouldn't necessarily be a proponent of all these ways that we get energy, you know, be that little shots or, or the Red Bull, whatever. But I think there's, there's one energy that comes from doing God's will. And Jesus says that, my food is to do the will of my Father. When we do God's will, it gives us fuel, it can energize us. There are times when I've been, been engaged with something that I knew God had directly spoken to me on. And I was, as I was doing it, I felt this, I think it was just divine infusion of whew, power and strength and energy. We can ask God to give us energy. And I love this verse in Romans 8 verse 11. It says, if the, if the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, and that's the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will quicken, give life to your mortal body. So energy is a good thing to ask God and to ask Holy Spirit, please breathe into me life and energy. Give me strength and energy for this day, for this assignment, for this season. So again, thank you for subscribing. Of course, I want you to share this with your friends because they all need, uh, need to see some ways that God can, can give us provisions. And finally, I want you to think about this. Please hit the notification bell right there because as you do, we keep you posted on new content. So thanks again. And next week is, hello, hello, 
super excited. Independence Day, July the 4th. So I have a special, a special episode for you on this series or in this program on this channel. Thanks so much.